Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I figured I might as well talk about uh, Titanfall 3, because I figured that's kind of an interesting topic. Um, I'm really into the Titanfall games, so you know what? I've heard tons of rumors about Titanfall 3 being in development, or it's going to be coming out in the near future, or vice versa, whatever. I don't know if any of that's true. I know I've personally been told that Titanfall 3 is in development. Again, it's, it's taken with a grain of salt. We don't really know these things, obviously. It's kind of hard to know what's going on behind the scenes. I thought it'd be a good time to talk about a wish list for Titanfall 3. Uh, I've seen tons of different Titanfall YouTubers already do this like, years ago, uh, before Apex even came out, because, you know, there was already rumors back then about it, and then we saw what happened with Apex. But anyway, here's my Titanfall wish list. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, let's just jump into it. So the first thing on my list is uh, crossplay. I think it's kind of a given with games nowadays. Um, if they don't have crossplay, it just kind of feels weird, it feels kind of archaic. It helps the community and helps the longevity of the game by having crossplay in it. Uh, same thing with like cross progression. Cross progression and crossplay are kind of necessary in AAA titles nowadays. The next thing on my list is customization and grindable camos. Uh, I think Titanfall does a really, really good job with this, but I think the camo designs are kind of lackluster in certain ways. For example, when you get stoic gold, it, uh, I was very uh, displeased with it because it's just a yellow. It's just a generic yellow color. And I feel like from someone who came from Call of Duty, I know it's probably not great to compare the two, but for example, gold camo in that game is actually gold. Like in every other game, gold is gold. I don't know why they would call it stoic gold when it's yellow. Like the Mastercraft Kraber, I think that's what it's called. I was expecting something like that. It looks a lot better. I feel like that's what the gold camo should be. Or you unlock a variant or something similar to the that masterwork. And I know there's tons of other ones in Titanfall 2 that are masterworks that are gold. So it's like, it's not like it's impossible. They could have done it. I don't know why they did Same thing for the pilot camos and uh, Titan camos and so on and so forth. Like all the camos, all the really, really nice ones, I feel like, like gold. I just think that should be like an actual gold. Another thing on this list, uh, like to go along with that, I think that animated camos would go a really long way in Titanfall. Uh, same thing with like the Apex variants and stuff. I think those are great ideas and I feel like more could be implemented into a Titanfall 3. I do think the animated camos in Apex are good, but I do think they are very limited on what they actually are. I can't remember the name of it, but it's on screen. This, uh, this skin, I love the design and everything and I love the little animation that plays, but I wish it was across the whole gun, not just this little tiny part of it. Uh, I just don't like that look, but I feel that if they incorporated more interesting camos like that for, let's say you hit gen 10 on a weapon, I think that would be really interesting. I love stoic black, I love the stoic colors that they have, but I definitely think there is room for improvement with these things. I think keeping a stoic black, keeping the, uh, the old versions but then also adding something else on top of it, like a different camo as well. So you unlock two different camos for getting a new generation. I think that's a better idea than just kind of just a solid color and leaving it at that. I think it would be a really cool addition. I kind of hope they do it. I think that's a really, really missed opportunity that they, that they did with Titanfall. The next thing is more customization for Titans. So in Titanfall 1, there was a lot more customization with what you could do. You'd picked a chassis and then you picked a weapon. I think that was a really, really cool thing. Uh, the Flying Teacup actually made a video on this topic, if you guys want to go see that, and I agree with a lot of the things he says here. So I'm not going to go super in-depth with this because of that. I think weapon selection for Titans, but keeping the class-based system like Titanfall 2. So if you pick a Ronin, you have to choose and unlock other shotgun-style weapons and maybe different swords as well. So let's say there's a double-barrel shotgun kind of thing, and then there's the one that Ronan already has. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the one Ronan already has, and there's a couple other options. I think those um, would be a lot more interesting for for progression with Titans, and you don't feel as locked to using one weapon with one in Titan. I feel like adding upon that is a really, really good idea, and I hope to go forward with that, because I think that's just a really good idea, and opens up a lot more opportunity for customization and different gameplay options. But I do like the class system that they have in the game, so there's only certain abilities for certain titans. I do like that part, it's mostly just the weapons part. So another thing that I want is the same gameplay with some new abilities uh, as Titanfall 2, with the health increase by either 50 or 100. I feel like the time to kill in Titanfall 2 is pretty quick compared to Titanfall 1's, so I think bumping up the health just a little bit would make a drastic improvement. It's like one or two more bullets, realistically. Yeah, I basically just want the same gameplay as Titanfall 2. I think Titanfall 2 is a pretty good masterwork and then just adding new abilities similar to how Titanfall 2 added a grappling hook 
and uh, changing the card system to the boosts. I think that was a really good idea. So if they can make improvements like that, that sounds great. That's uh, that's exactly what I want. Next thing on my list is the kind of one I put on every single FPS game like I did for Call of Duty in the past. Just more base launch maps and modes. Um, I still would really like Free For All and Titanfall. I just don't know if that would work. Uh, gun Game is another one that I think would be really cool as well. Gun Game in Attrition. I really like that idea. That would be cool. I think just more base maps would be interesting. I know uh, Titanfall didn't have like a lacking amount of maps, but it did. it is a little bit less than to be desired. They brought in some Titanfall 1 maps, which the next point, more Titanfall 1 styled maps. I want more Titanfall 1 styled maps. I really like the design of the Titanfall 1 maps. Titanfall 2 also does a great job of map design, but I think Titanfall 1 stands out more for uniqueness. I think they hit it out of the park with those map styles. The team at Respawn, I think, always has made good maps with Call of Duty 4 and then Modern Warfare 2 maps and then Titanfall and Titanfall 2. I think they all have great map design in all those games, but I definitely think Titanfall 2's is a little bit more simplistic than Titanfall 1's. So just more of those style maps would be cool. Or at the very least, the rest of the Titanfall 1 maps as DLC that weren't in Titanfall 2 I think would be cool, except for Angel City, because Angel City's probably the best map. Fight me, I guess? But honestly, like I, I really like the Titanfall 1 maps, and I think adding them in as DLC later on like they did with Titanfall 2, I think that's a really cool idea. And I kind of wish they would have brought the rest of the maps from Titanfall 1 into Titanfall 2, but... I guess maybe they didn't work with the gameplay style, or they didn't see initiative to do so. This one's kind of a given. New weapons. Not just Titanfall 1 and 2 weapons, just like more weapons. I mean, Apex has the Sentinel, Peacekeeper, and a couple others. I don't quite know. I don't follow the game. Oh, the Repeater, I guess, was just added, but just more weapons would be cool. Like, I have the Titanfall 1 art book. Seeing the concept designs for weapons was really cool, and I kind of wish they would have implemented some of them. Like, I've seen one of the alternator with a stock. That seems kind of cool. Speaking of weapons also, um, you know, I wouldn't hate it if we had more weapon attachments. I don't think it's necessary, but I wouldn't hate it. I do like the gunsmith system in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, for example, and adding them to Titanfall 2 could be very, very neat. I don't see them needing to do that. I just think that would be a kind of a neat thing along with if they want to implement more experimental weapons, I think that could be an interesting way. But I generally do like how Titanfall 2's style of attachments work. So I'm not really opposed to either one. I think it would be cool though. This one is one I've never seen anybody talk about, but uh, silencers. I want them back on primaries. In Titanfall 1, you could use silencers on your primary weapon. And I liked it just because it makes the gun sound different. Not gonna lie. But yeah, I want silencers back on weapons. Like, on primaries. They're on secondaries. Why aren't they on primaries? I don't know why they got rid of that. I kind of want it back. I don't care if it takes away my damage. It's fun. A little bit of variety. I kind of wish that those would return. A silenced Kraber sounds hilariously stupid, and I want to do it. Something that's kind of unlikely, but the same shop as Titanfall 2. Uh, and buying, buying camo packs and Titan packs. I don't think that's realistic, but I would like it. I don't really want a battle pass. I don't really want tons of overpriced things like the apex shop but i feel like that's probably more akin to what it'll be just because that's how the industry has moved forward so i would love it if it was like here's a two dollar camo pack go nuts here's masterworks for five bucks go nuts just pick whatever ones you want i think it's probably going to be similar to apex i'm not really a fan of apex's monetization system i think it's all right i do feel like everything's very overpriced and I'm not a huge fan of it just because of that reason. So I kind of hope they don't do that. But, you know, I kind of feel like they're going to just because how much money Apex makes from its microtransaction sales. Obviously, a campaign. I would want it to follow up Titanfall 2s. Would it? I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be more following up Apex or a precursor to Apex or why Apex happened. Just because it can grab that name kind of thing. I don't know. It's very weird because we don't know what they're going to do, and that kind of scares me. Next thing, DLC weapons. Um, I would like it if they would just earn them with challenges and playtime. That would be kind of cool. Um, I don't think Titanfall 2 got any DLC weapons. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. But yeah, I would just like it if, you, if uh, DLC weapons were added and you had to do some challenges, like get 20 headshots with a sniper to get a new sniper. That would be kind of cool. I'd like it. 
but if we're going with how the industry is going forward, I think it's going to be with the battle pass, and it'll be in the battle pass. You have to grind it, get to that level, you unlock it, bing, bang, boom, done. Um, I don't really like battle passes, so I'm not really keen on the idea, but I feel like that's what's going to happen. As long as it's free, I don't mind as much. I don't know. Let me know what your your guys' opinions are in the comments. What do you guys think Titanfall 3 will be like? And what do you think of this list? What are some things you want in Titanfall 3? I'm very curious. Some of you have been playing since the game launched. I've been playing since, like, mid-July. But I want to know your guys' opinions. I want to know some of the people who play Titanfall for a really long time and some people who are new and what they think. Uh, it would be interesting knowing some people who are very huge fans of Apex, what they think of the game as well and what they would want if they were to buy a Titanfall 3. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little video. Take care, everybody. Peace.